Three Zero Director's Cut Episode 6. Last time, man, I was just hoping Subaru didn't die because he made really good progress when it comes to earning the trust of uh, our sisters, our demon sisters, apparently. We learned out about that about Ram last time uh, when she just rose and just started glowing and just snapped on him. Um, that was surprising. But uh, uh, most of all, man, like... The fact that, you know, Ram trusted Ram to go with Sobaru, despite the fact that they were like, why should we listen to you about going to the village? You know, like, what are you talking about? Um, you know, Sobaru gave like a, you know, a, a con conflicting order from Roswell for that. So um, they listened to him. Ram went with him. Um, Sobaru showed Ram that he, you know, truly cared for the people in the village. Um, I guess that he was a good person, at which he is. He is a good person. Um, saved her life. That's a big thing, too. And also, Pinky promised her about talking with her about, like, why the witch's scent is on him and, and like, questions for each other. And he was like, you know, after this is over, let's... I, I'll ask you questions, you ask me questions, and that's a promise. And they, Pinky promised that. And that was, that was really great, man, because that... Like, everything is set up so perfectly for them not to be suspicious of him. But if he dies here... It's just kind of starting from zero, and I don't know how I'd feel about that, man. Last episode also made me speculate about Subaru's power a bit more, more so that's like based in his determination and will, like the fact that he has to make it back to the checkpoint, so maybe it's like based on those feelings and like the fact that he's, the fact that he's not deterred by, especially the scene where he, he was explaining to like Beatrice that like, like no, like I don't want to die, like I, I fucking, want to avoid that at all costs like the i think if he ever got comfortable with the idea of dying i don't know if he'd be able to make it back to like checkpoints which um i guess would make sense uh you know but at the same time it is a power that is apparently given to him or influenced by the uh witch of envy so which apparently is also like emilia has the body of the witch of envy for some reason I don't know what the case is. Again, I, I, I guessed a little bit last episode that it was like, like, yeah, she has the body of the Witch of Envy, but her personality is her own. Like, for some reason, she inherited just like the shell of her for some reason. I, I have no idea. Um, again, because Beatrice said a half elf with silver hair, but clearly there's some understanding there that she is not actually the Witch of Envy or rather like if the Witch of Envy is present within her, like if. If the Witch of Envy is sealed within her, like, on some Naruto shit, then it's, she's, like, a latent presence. I I honestly don't know. Actually, that might be the case. But, um, yeah. I think that's about it as far as what I was, um, thinking about. Again, main thing, just hoping somebody's alive, so let's find out. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, he's still alive. Thank fuck. It looks like he's slipping. So does that mean he's okay? He was bitten a lot. Whoa. Did Rem say that? <laughs> okay. All right, Shinji. Except you have to stay in your hospital bed. Wow. So they really did save him. Because, yeah, he would have had to have gotten cursed pretty hard. Also, hello, Amelia. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I wonder if he's hit another checkpoint on this day. I hope so. I know, right? What the hell? Got mauled. Okay, suddenly scary puck. <laughs> it almost got me. Yikes. Right. Well, that's good.
Oh shit! And they saved the kids. Hey. Wow. So things went perfectly. No. Oh. Carry her to a bed or something. I don't know, man. Well, that I didn't know if things would go that well, but holy shit, that was great. All right, I hope you see the checkpoint. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. He didn't even say anything. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What the fuck? He just shoved whatever that is into his mouth. <laughs> so proud. Hey. Here's your breakfast. Yeah, save saved your sister. Ah. Oh yeah, that was a big deal. Oh, Olgarm. Okay. Oh. Let him rest. Great. No problems there then. Yay. <laughs> Runs from gratitude. Oh. Hello. Okay, all right. Like? Oh, why is that? Oh, damn. I guess that makes sense. Another curse. Whoa. He did get bit, uh, bitten many times. So I, that makes sense. Oh.
Well, damn. What the fuck does he have to do now? Of course he's scared. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I guess he wouldn't. Oh. So he has to kill the mob beast. I guess everyone that bit him. Shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yikes. Right. Huh. Oh, boy. She said it. He sounded like him. Wait, what the fuck? Where is Ram? Oh, dear. Wait, she went... She's trying to kill the mob beast herself? Oh my gosh. I guess because you went that far for her, but... Clairvoyance. Oh, hornless. Interesting. Ah, that's what it is. Cutting wind magic. Oh. Let's fucking go. Let's find these damn mobbies. <laughs> I'm a greedy guy. I want to see the rest of this story. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta love Subaru. Right? Oh, he's got a sword. Wow, Ram. That would have given him energy. Oh. That's true. I know, look at that blade. Oh, a villager gave him that. Ooh. That's his Ordon sword.
Huh. The hell? You put it in his pocket. Oh, some candy and a stone. And a fucking worm. <laughs> it's like a grub. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's fucking go. Hope Rem's okay. Car. Okay, nothing. Them. Oh. Ooh. Oh dear. Her oh my gosh. Her wind magic is so effective. Yeah, keep up, buddy. That was fucking brutal, though. Holy shit. Cut that one in half. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Good question. Oh, she had hers cut off. What the fuck? Oh, man. So I guess she couldn't, she can't transform anymore. All right, it's been some time. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, shit. Wow. So, yeah, that explains that, too. Wow. Holy fuck. Okay. Damn, Rem snapping. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. Because if she goes so hard that she ends up dying. Of course. That's family. Ah. Uh. Woo. Wow. That was clever as fuck by Subaru. That was really clever. But yeah, that may have been premature. I don't know. All right, Subaru, let's see what you can do. Ah, so if they all come there, then she will too.
<laughs> now you just have to live, buddy. Again, Matrix said half a day. I don't know how long it's been, but time to go hard. Oh, wow. Uh, Rem, you okay? Woo. Oh, shit. Ram got hurt and Ram felt it. Shit, it was too much. Ram. This sucks. This fucking sucks. What the hell? Whoa. Thank goodness you caught something there. Holy shit. You jumped off a cliff. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good shit. Good catch, too. That was great. <laughs> oh, she used the last of her, like, energy for that. She's out now, buddy. It's all you. Ram. Anyone. Oh, the fucking puppy, my beast. <laughs> I hate that guy. There she is. Oh dear. Yeah, she found y'all. Don't kill him, Rim. He's going a little crazy. Oh! Alright, I figured that would happen. Yeah, everything she sees. She's doing this for Subaru, but she's about to kill fucking Subaru. But also her sister's out, so... Oh dear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Subaru, you have no time for this. Good kick. Well, they're all here, so if not most of them, uh oh, time for the top dog. Oh dear. Oh fuck. Yikes! It's too much. We need more help. Oh man. I don't feel good about this, man. I don't know how. Whoa. Wait, that drew her attention, too. Rem didn't like that either. Oh, wait, no. Well, shit, that fucking worked. Ha <laughs> Oh, a hit on her horn. Huh. Well, that's something, I guess. Okay, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, dear. What are you about to do, Subaru? Ross Chi. Get out of here. What is this? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Damn, he didn't have the guts to follow through. Fuck. And there he goes. Look, it's it's so cute. It's the cutest mob beast ever. He's clearly the leader. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa.
Oh shit, he's falling back down. Let's go. Ooh, I think he did it. I think he did that shit, boy. Demonically inspired methods. Good title. Ooh, a blood moon. What the fuck? Ah, backstory. Let's go. I was hoping for this. Great, a shitty elder. No. Ram and Ram. Wait, wait, who saves them then? Whoa. Whoa, he's got long horns. Oh, fuck. Ram protected themselves? Yo. Older sister. Ooh. Holy shit. What power from a fucking infant. Well, I guess now. I don't know. I guess they killed them because of the splitting of the horns, but since she's so powerful, they spared them. Shout out to Ram. Whoa. So she manipulated the water there. I don't know if that was still wind, but where she can do multiple elements when she had her horn. Oh dear. Oh man. Oh man. In Ram's shadow. All right, she's practicing. Nice. Good job. I guess she didn't sustain it as long. Oh. You know, now I'm worried that they're showing me this. I feel like, I don't know. Again, because someone still has to save them from, from the rest of the mob beasts. So what's, what are you going to do, Rem? Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, so she wants to do this one thing by herself. She about to get into trouble out here. Going hunting. Oh, man. Uh oh. Whoa. How lucky slash unlucky. Holy fuck. Nope, that's unlucky. Thank you, Ram. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. Well, so much for dinner. But yeah, at least they're okay. She just wants to do something herself. Yeah, so she still got to make potatoes. Hey, there you go. But I guess it wasn't enough. Yep, she went back to look for the nuts.
Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Hope that was only in her mind. It seemed that way. What the hell? Alright, yeah, it was a dream. Okay. Oh. I wonder if we're going to find out, like, what the Witch of Envy maybe did to Ram. Oh, dear. Oh, my. That's a lot of charred demons right there. What the fuck? The whole village up in flames. Were they the only survivors? Whoa. What the fuck? Who are they? Where are those robes? Whoa. Chop them the fuck up. Wow. So powerful with her horn. So I wonder how she loses it. What the fuck? Oh, that's how. Whoa. Wow. It made her happy. That's so fucked up. Whoa. Wait, so were they were they like captured and made into to mates and yeah that explains their behavior how she's why she's doing so much at the Roswell mansion oh fuck Who is that? Oh. Wow, and she feels guilt for making happy. Feeling happy because of it. Making happy. Wow. Holy fuck. Oh, wow. The one with the blue flowers cracked. Well, they've made it. Well, they're making it out. So what, are we going to die, though, still? Oh. Oola. Because, again, he was bitten by, like, the puppy one, and he seems like the most powerful. Oh, man. And that, that explains why she came out here by herself. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yikes. You killed, like, fucking 50 of them or something. Whoa. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, wow. She hesitated because of that. Holy fuck. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm dumb, too. Wow. It's two heads, but, you know, same thing. Look at that fucker. So cute. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess she'd feel guilty. Oh, wow. Oh, he's going to do the return by and then cut himself off again. Oh. Oh. That's the best she could say. Oh boy. Oh. It's the boss boy. Oh, he's about to die. He's about to die. I don't like this song playing right now. I don't like it. Whoa. Look at him. Woo. That's the alpha right there, boy. What you gonna do, Subaru? What you got? He's about to box this. Oh, they're just gonna watch. Oh, man. I don't know how I feel about the opening playing right now. Whoa. Rem's serious. He's like, yo, we need to save him. Oh, boy. Whoa. He, yeah, that's right. He did learn the spell in this life. Whoa! Good shit, Subaru. <laughs> okay. Wasn't enough. Yikes. Stab it again. Woo! Subaru's doing good, but he needs help. Roswell. Whoa. That was Roswell, right? Holy fuck. Yes. Oh, I'm, I've never been more happy to see this guy. Holy fuck. Thanks for using your power for goodness. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow yay they survived and he took out the alpha so I think somebody was okay and the rest of them I guess yeah guys did good Oh. Like, honestly, you deserve that hug, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, he's aching. Oh. <laughs> and 
and he's out. Poor guy. <laughs> that was sweet, but yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. The next day. Now, checkpoint, please. Return by death to this point, please. No need to revert all that progress, right? Oh. Oh, it's her. Wow. She really cares about you, bro. Oh. Yay. Oh, shit. Amazing. Oh, thank goodness. I was a bit worried. Oh, man. She needs to stop feeling guilty. She, she has had some fucked up thoughts, and her hesitating was really fucked up, but still. I wouldn't say that. Jeez. Untrue. Wow, she even feels guilty about being born because she could have been more powerful with two horns, uh, Ram. Holy shit. Yeah, I wonder how Ram feels. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Holy fuck. All right, Subaru. <laughs> Were those like seals on his cast or did, did they sign it? If they signed it, that's hilarious. Yeah, it was you. You went out there. It really is. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> wow. Well said. We better not lose one of them again. There's that quote again. Huh. Like the demon you are. Ah, yeah. Absolutely.
Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Exactly. It's what it's all about. Depend on each other. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Oh, man. She is so, like... I feel like she loves him now. Holy shit. Wow. Made her cry in happiness. Somebody who's talking no jutsu is insane. He is great. I love that guy. Ram. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. One of the kids was a plant? Holy shit. Huh. Oh. Wait, what does she need? Oh. It's replenishing her on her, where her horn was. I wonder what Roswell's out doing. Jeez. Ah. Uh, what's your goal, buddy? He wants to kill the dragon? What the fuck? Okay, alright, cool. What the hell? Yes, only. Just a little. Huh. Oh. They wouldn't have made it without Roswell. Wait, what? Lap pillow. Ah, uh, there you go. Why do I feel like something bad's gonna happen now after he's asked her on a date? <laughs> EMF Major Fairy. <laughs> That translation. Happy ending? No death? Whoa. I'm not used to this, boy. We got the normal pitch now. So I think this ending song was fucked up in the last episode because Tsubara was literally laying there in the snow, like dying from his curses. <sighs> wow. Everything has gone fantastic. You know, we've learned so much too. Okay. So it started out, um, 
you know, everything was great. They were celebrating, like, yay, everyone was saved. We, which, by the way, we learned one of the kids that was brought back to the village disappeared the next day. So I guess they were like a plant by whoever was controlling the mob beast, or they were, or they were the one who was controlling the mob beast in disguise as a kid, which is pretty fucked up. But I wonder, I wonder if there's any like signs. Like if I once it's revealed who it is, I wonder if I could go back and like see like any signs of that in on the kid or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It was probably the girl who like pointed, who made Suwaru like go to the edge of the village, like pointed over there. I don't know. In fact, that would make sense, actually. And because the fact that also she was out there as bait for Subaru, for whoever. Yeah, that was pretty sus, but. Um, yeah, so they they were all good, but then Beatrice reveals to Subaru that he has a bunch of complex curses on him. That while one curse is as simple as untying a knot, for him, it would take... The difficulty is way too high, I guess, for her. And um, he was basically like, well, logically, if you take out the mobbies who you know, bit you and put this curse on you, then the curse would be removed. So, Rem, I guess, knew that. Or, or figured out how, because, you know, um, somebody remembers from the previous night, like, she's like, I'll save you no matter what. Because um, Rem, we found out, has a ton of guilt about being born, because, you know, being a twin with Rem means they only got one horn each. About the fact she's always felt inferior and um, jealous of Rem, and at the point where, I guess, she could have, like, saved Rem for having her horn cut off. She just let it happen, or rather, when it happened, she was just she smiled and she was happy. It was finally cut off, and that she was finally like, I guess, more powerful than her sister. That's why she feels like just a replacement. The fact that she still has her horn, um, that she feels Ram should have kept hers because it's because she's always been better and and more amazing than her, and that she should have had two. So. Uh, really sad, man, and also guilt over the fact that I guess she could have prevented Subaru from getting bitten so badly because because of the witch's scent, she hesitated to extend her arm and I guess pull him out of the way, which is really fucked up. That's like really fucked up too. So like that moment and the, and being happy over Ram's like horn. I don't know. Is it's complex because yeah, that that's those are horrible things to happen, but she does like her guilt. Like she legit feels like so like guilty about it and honestly at this point i don't think ram you know well i don't know if ram knows about if she was happy about when it happened but and she doesn't need to quite frankly but yes yeah, so i i really like you know Sub subato's talk with her i mean it really made her happy too like she cried in happiness i, I guess i feel like from someone reassuring her because I, I feel like she's never really gotten to talk about it even though even though subato didn't know the details like I guess it was kind of therapeutic for her because she's been holding it in this whole time. Like, you know, and um, it makes me wonder about Ram because, you know, if you look at Rem's behavior, like, this makes sense. Like, why she's constantly trying to work so hard, um, especially in comparison to Ram. Um, she feels she has to atone for, like, feeling happy back then. And, and she went so hard for Subaru because of the guilt of, I guess, not being able to pull him out of the way uh and the fact that he saved her and she couldn't do the same for him yeah oh man i love him but yeah i, I like i like what subato said basically the fact stop dwelling on the past you know we have to think about tomorrow like what are we, what are we gonna have for breakfast tomorrow because you know literally reflecting on the past uh it's just not healthy in general like it's already happened it's not even real it's just a painful memory at this point and You've already dealt with the fallout of it. Because even Subaru said, I doubt Ram. No, even Subaru said that, like, you're the only one who cares that Ram only has one horn. Uh, but yeah. Very, um, very sweet of him. Because I, I really like Subaru. He's just, he always, even though he's, like, such a dork, he's so, like, <laughs> and he's so, like, intentionally cliche at times. Um, because he, you know, he's trying to figure out what to say, and you know, he's he's obviously like written as like meta aware of like tropes and like what people say in these situations, and trying to use idioms and being like, wait, did I say that right? Um, <laughs> but he's great. He always knows what to say. He's he's such um he's such a good guy. 
he's just a, a genuinely just good guy and um it really shows like his intentions really will just uh, shine through and I, I think that's really cool um yeah so hopefully like through that rem can let go a little bit of that it seems like she was able to once like she she really broke down and um everything was so about to end god they're so sweet on each other now um the fact that she held his hand you know willingly while she, he was out i mean granted um rem and ram did the same thing while he was uh, out before because that's what he remembers because um yeah yeah man um it's really cool they they really genuinely care about each other now like he's he's undoubtedly earned ram's trust at this point and I'm I'm sure Rams too. You know, I again I really want to know how Ram feels about that whole situation. Like how she looked at Ram if she feels I don't know. Cause surely like in Ram's behavior is also reflected in her own mentality. Like the fact that she isn't working hard at all, not really trying. I, I don't know. I don't know if she does that because she's aware that Rem feels like she has to overcompensate. So she's const she's like consciously nerfing herself so that Rem can like feel like she's doing more. That might be the case. It might just be the same thing. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Just a random thought I had. I guess not random, but you know, related. Um, other than that, uh, great. I was happy to get lore on the demon clan and what the hell happened to them. I want to know who killed them and how the hell, like, right after that, that they ended up under, like, like, under control or just working for Roswell. Because, again, I, like, I, I think Roswell is, like, I love his voice actor and, you know, the fact that he saved Subaru there was really great. And I guess because he's, like, Subaru is useful to Roswell. Because he's like genuinely like protecting, you know his uh, his people. You know he went so hard for Ram and Rams, and you know he I guess he took note of that, um, or he understood somehow. But yeah, I I just um, with his whole intention for wanting to kill the dragon, like that's insane. Because isn't the dragon good i i don't know i might be misremembering what they said about the dragon because i all i know about it is that uh what i what i first of all remember is the fact that the dragon was one of the three that um sealed the witch of envy um which and i'm thinking now that they sealed her within amelia's body like they had to seal her in a living being or, or something i don't know um yeah, actually, that that would make sense. Um, but yeah, I don't know about Roswell. I really don't know. I mean, he he did replenish um Ram's um mana, which was really great. You know, in, in on the spot of her missing horn, I guess he has to do that for her. Um, every night. I don't know, because I guess a demon without a horn has its own complications. Like, rather than just not being able to transform, she's probably... Actually, yeah, the fact that she can't do much and that she gets fatigued really easily is probably just as a result of just her body being fucked up from, like, having her horn just ripped from her. Like, because that's, like, the source of their power is a demon, right? So, that would make sense. Um, what else? Amelia. Oh, man, Amelia's been... Amelia's just been Amelia this episode, and she, she's she been great. You know, she cared for Subaru all night whenever he was just laying there all cursed. And they did save him, but, you know, he was still cursed. And Beatrice was like, you know, it's still see you soon until she, like, wakes up. Because as far as she knows, like, she hasn't seen you since she's cared for you. So you need to, like, survive. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I like Beatrice. I think, um... It's easy to see, like, her, uh... Because I don't, I don't know. I don't know about her. I mean, she's, like, she obviously cares to, like, a certain extent. You know, she always claims, like, it's for Bubby or whatever, which it might have been. But I think she also just wanted to help Subaru. I don't know. Again, I don't... Beatrice isn't, like, bad or evil, of course, but, um... 
she's uh she's interesting to say the least i want to know more about like her backstory how the hell she ended up there like a being like her how she ended up there uh it's because it's quite an ensemble of people in this manner um especially with amelia i want to know more about amelia's story but uh it was good to great get backstory on rem and ram at least like that was that was really good and i, I hope that gives me hope to see the same with other characters as well especially amelia but yeah, I think I think that's it, man. I'm I'm very satisfied with how everything turned out. Everything turned out fantastic. We got our date set up with Amelia finally. Ever since like episode, I think Sword has been trying to like he hasn't tried to set it up since like the first few times it failed when he tried to set it up again, and then you know figuring out the whole cursing and this whole arc. So it's finally happening, man. Um, sweet times with Amelia uh everyone's fine rem and ram are fine roswell amelia were somebody good not dying of a curse everything's going so great and i i'm, I'm fucking like i'm i'm in shock because <laughs> i thought he would revert like to a checkpoint or some shit and have to like do it again but um i'm happy this show after making so much happen didn't just crush it all for a return by death. Now granted they might do it soon. Because that's like a thing in this show. I think now. They're just satisfying me as a viewer. Like just giving me a lot. Like because in letting this much happen. They're able to like give me the backstory. They're able to expose a lot more about characters. Which makes me like them more. Like I like I like Ram and Ram. A lot more now. Like I, I think it's. I think I'm glad I didn't judge them too harshly when they when Rem killed Subaru because they were suspicious of him. Then when I learned about the witch's scent, I was like, okay, that makes a lot more sense. And especially with Ram, um, when Rem died and then you know the Rams Rams whole thing when she was going after him, I understood it at least. So I'm I'm happy I didn't judge them too harshly. And you know, especially with Subaru. Subaru Subaru is a fucking saint, man. Like he's. He's just so great. Um, yeah, but I, I think that's it. Yeah, I, I really I really like to address every point of the show just because I enjoy it so much. So I, I just want to like give it its proper like attention when I when I reflect on things. But I think that's it, man. I'm I'm very much looking forward to whatever the next thing is going to be because we've it seems like we've um somebody who's earned everyone's trust in the mansion at this point. Like Roswell knows he's good people. Uh, we don't know about Roswell, though. I mean, Amelia, that's obvious. Um, although there's the whole Witch of Envy thing with her, which I, I just don't know. I mean, granted, if Rem and uh, Ram can detect the witches sent on Subaru, I'm sure Amelia can as well. And, you know, we haven't we haven't addressed that whole Witch of Envy thing with her. And, I, and granted, I don't think Subaru cares to. But um, because, you know, because he understands, like, regardless of that fact, Amelia is Amelia, so... I'm I'm sure he's he's just focused on that like the kind of person Subaru is he doesn't give a fuck that Beatrice like said that even though like it should alarm him it just doesn't because you know it's Amelia right so <sighs> yeah so we'll see if that gets addressed if that becomes a problem um I'm sure it will at some point but uh yeah man this was uh this was pretty good I think we're almost like technically halfway in the show or something like that because what this count this counts as like episode um this is six so like 11 and 12 if it's like two episodes per um per uh director's cut episode right i don't know something like that i think we're approaching that point soon where we're technically halfway because uh, again this is going to lead into season two which is going to be very very interesting because I I will finally get to experience this uh, live with everyone, so that'll be a lot of fun. But um, yeah, I'm having a great time uh, catching up and experiencing all this, man. Um, again, very grateful to the author of the story for letting things build up and and not returning by death at every time things go well, or or when things go bad because you know things were going bad there, and I thought he was gonna die to like that the puppy alpha male mob beast, but no, things worked out, and I'm. Again, that keeps me on my toes because I can't really predict when um, when Subaru is going to die. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good move in that way, too. Like, I, I can't just throw an expectation out there because how can I have one when you know, when it goes like this? It goes so well and things work out. So who knows? He could die the next morning. So I guess we'll find out when I when that episode is released. So 
thank you all for watching this with me as always if you want early access to the next episode of these reactions i stay one episode ahead on patreon so if you want to check that out it's five dollars get early access to every other show i do as well as well as um my near automata full playthrough and um whatever else i have exclusive like unlimited blade works abridged um you can scroll through and see exactly what i have out but yeah either way i appreciate you watching with me and i will see you next time peace